Welcome to another episode of the Quick Corners Book Corner. I'm so excited to start this year's World Book and Copyright Day celebration with this new author. Yes. You can't begin to imagine why I'm so excited. Her bio is right after this. Please join us in the Quick Corners Book Corner. See you in a bit. Welcome to the Quip Corners Book Corner. Thank you, Ada. It's lovely to be with you. Um, thank you so much for the invitation. You're welcome. So we're celebrating your book. Yeah? Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. Why did you write it? Yes. Um, thank you, Ada. It's a good question. And it's a question I've been asked quite a few times, mm -hmm. um, people have asked the question, what was the vision for the book? Yeah. And I feel like it was written from a place of pain and despair, mm. as opposed to a grappling with some great vision that I was given. So as an educator, I work with a lot of young people from different backgrounds, with different dreams and different directions about where they want to go in life. And yeah. For a majority of those young people, there was a deficit in confidence mm. and just a, a real insecurity about who they were. So, for example, I'd be teaching uh, certain young people and they would say, oh, I'm so stupid, I can't do it. or I'll never get it. And I started to think, surely this is a journey of growing. We've heard about the power of the growth mindset. Yes. But if your words about yourself are not changing, then you're not going to be growing. So I would spend time mentoring while I was educating mm. and I would spend time building up their confidence and challenging them to use more positive, more life affirming words about themselves. Yeah. So things like you can say about yourself, I don't know it now, but I can, yeah. I can learn. Yeah. Or I may have failed in a certain way or mm -hmm. in a certain place but surely I can get myself back up again. Oh, I believe I can do it. Yeah. So those were some of the young people I was working with. And I started to be quite concerned about the tone of their voice concerning themselves. Mm -hmm. So there was definitely a, a rush of desire to write a book like this. Okay. I was also surrounded by quite a few women who were just as negative as the young people that I worked with. Wow. Oh negative about themselves and negative about a lot of them, their relationships, negative about their choice of partner. So I would mm -hmm. hear things like, oh, he's just, he'll, he'll never change. He's, he's a failure. He's, he's a, there's nothing good about this marriage. We're done. It's over. And in as much as I sympathized and empathize with the difficulties these women were going through, I thought surely you may not be able to change your situation overnight. Mm -hmm. Surely you can change your language. Yeah. Surely you can change the level of life you're speaking over yourself and your relationship. And needless to say, a lot of those relationships have now ended in divorce or are heading towards divorce. Um, and so for me, it was from a place of pain, which drove me to write about the power of our words, learning yeah. that for myself and now spreading the word that there is inherent power in the words we choose to speak over ourselves and over others. Yeah. We need to be careful. Wow, that's really, really, really powerful. You know, I was just nodding almost like a lizard, you know, but the thing is, <laughs> the, the <laughs> you know, it's interesting because I think on the, you know, the back of one of my books, I said, the words you speak 
create your world you know and and you know our words are so so important i remember uh when our children were younger and they were taught about i can't you Mm. know and they then taught them in school that um instead of saying i can't you should say i can try oh i love that yes yeah so yeah words and it's almost frightening how careless some of us are with words totally ada you're right you're spot on we are very careless and we don't realize that a lot of times those words do come back and bite us we really don't realize and i think for me this has been a journey of awakening myself Mm -hmm. to the power of my words over Mm -hmm. myself Mm -hmm. over my husband, over my children, over friends, situations, over my community. That when we speak life into our words, we get life from our words. When we speak death through our words, we get death from our words most of the time. So I like what you said. There's a carelessness that we all need to check. Mm -hmm. And when we're more aware, we do see a difference. Mm-hmm. It's palpable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you can't go around sowing apple seeds and expect a pineapple. Exactly. Even if they rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Okay, yeah. There I am trying to be poetic. <laughs> I love it. Bring it on. read something from your book to us you know i'd really love to read you know some of these things about power words please so this is the book no mm, it's pretty really really, really pretty it's, it's pretty. called a poetic odyssey of proclamations mm. 31 ways to sow grow and flow goodness into your life mm. and for me the the title in itself is powerful because Changing your words is a process. Mm. If mm. you're, if you've been used to speaking about yourself and other people in a certain way, and you think, "Oh, tomorrow I'm just gonna figure yeah. it out and flip the switch," <laughs> exactly, exactly. Then you will be disappointed. Yeah. The 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 switch you need to flip is the intentionality and the decision to change your words. Yeah. Because it's a journey and I still have to catch myself and say, no, I did not mean to say that. Rephrase, rephrase. Rephrase, absolutely. So I want people to understand that I'm not giving you a magic bullet. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you an invitation to a journey of transformation. Oh, I love that. It's an invitation. It's a journey of transformation. Mm. And only you can say yes. Nobody's going to do this work for you. Yeah. Only you can say yes. Yeah. So the the proclamation I want to read is the one about self-love. Mm. Okay. It's, the month, it's Valentine's month, isn't it? You know, mm-hmm. when February, it's the month of love. Mm-hmm. I believe every month is the month of love. Well, yeah, because yeah. I mean, well, you know, the thing about it is, you know, we're recording in February. We're airing in April and April is my month of love because, you know, different things happen in April for me. But yes, yes, please go ahead. So my understanding as I grow more in this journey is that before you can love another, Mm -hmm. you must have love for yourself. Yeah. You can't give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. And there's no greater work for each human being than the work to look in the mirror and say to your reflection, I love you. Mm. I'm so proud of how you're growing and the progress you're making. So this proclamation is the longest one in my book because it speaks to the foundation of love, which is really learning to love yourself. Self-love. How do I love me? Let me count the ways. Not only on good days, when I feel the sun's rays, I long to gaze 
at my current phase and express self-love with this powerful phrase, I am a beautiful blaze. This is my current craze as I navigate life's maze. Watch me dazzle and daze. I will amaze. Mm. My glorious reflection says that I love me in all ways till the end of my days, even as my hair glows with grace. Mm. Now you need to take a bath. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you yeah. So much. Yeah. And you know, your point about no one can do this for you. No matter what positive words other people say over you, it needs to come from the inside out. So true. And when it comes from the inside out, what I found is you can even counter the negative words outside. Absolutely. Sounds like you've done this work, Ada. <laughs> <laughs> we are kindred spirits on the same yes. journey. Yes. It's so true. I feel I was given some words last year on my journey to writing and rebranding myself from being mm -hmm. a full-time educator to stepping into speaking and writing and spoken word and coaching. Yeah. And what I was given was we need to say yes to yes. Okay. Now by that, I mean, yes, Y-I-S is your inner soil. Mm. I'm a plant mama. I love my plants. You can see I have. You yes. See one of there. I know. My, yeah. pe my peace lily there. <laughs> and I was, I was taught so much by planting and mm. loving my plants last year. Mm. When you look at a plant, you think, oh, you're, you're, okay. I like what I see. Yeah. You don't know what is happening in the darkness of the soil. And then in a couple of days, you see a little bud and you're like, ah! <laughs> it's budding, it's flowering. And then before your eyes, there's a plant. Yeah. There's a flower. Mm -hmm. There are more plants and more flowers. And I feel like last year, what I was given was pay attention to your inner soil. Mm. To the part of your journey that nobody is privy to because it's in yeah. the darkness. In the darkness where nobody's looking, where your maker is making you new. Yeah. Your maker yeah. is making you new. And then behold, people start to see flowers and buds and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're drawn to this plant, but they don't know. Yeah. The work that has happened in the inner soil, the yeah. tears, yes, the blood, yeah, sweat. sweat. What people want to latch onto is your winning streak. Come, come and speak here. What we love, what we see. Oh, please ask me about my story, my wilderness journey. Yeah, yeah. And what yeah. you said is so true. We need to begin to spread the message more that. Change comes from the inside. Yeah, yeah. Breakthrough comes from the inside. Sure does, yeah. Intention comes from the inside. Yeah. And then what people see is the icing on the cake, but your roots are deep. Deep, yeah. And not raised. Yeah, nice. Yes. Say yes to your yes. Yes, I like that. <laughs> I was chuckling because I remember when I was, much younger you know my mom loved plants you know I, I don't think she had a green thumb I think she just had green hands you know altogether toes you know everything but you know I'm I'm on the other side and so you know she gave up you know she had her part where she was growing tomatoes and peppers and all that and then she gave each of us um, a patch of land and said go plant something oh. so of course I planted one week I didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. So I dug it all up to check if it was <laughs> I was chuckling when you were talking about planting and waiting, you know, because this journey of transformation you speak to, 
patience is required, you know? We, we can't afford to be like that person who says, Lord, I need patience, but please give it to me now. Yeah. You know, you <laughs> yes, we become a humanity of quick fixes. Just put in the microwave, 90 seconds, you're done. You've got a meal. Even and I, I do, fun. I long for the days of our parents. I long mm. for the days where you spoke about your mom planting and tilling the soil and yeah. watching and waiting yeah. i long for the days when we didn't have things so quickly and so readily yeah because yeah. we're losing yeah. out on a lot of life lessons that come from the power of waiting true and true. observing agree and yeah. pregnancy is a is an amazing analogy because you mm. cannot push that baby well, out okay go ahead let's see <laughs> Exactly. You will not like what you see. No. So we wait. That we that yeah. long drawn out process of yeah. nine months or a bit less or a little bit more in some cases. Yeah. It is good training because in the waiting you're hoping, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and hope is a powerful attribute to develop when you want something. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, and you know, one of my spell outs, I think I had a video about hope because I do words of the month. I think one of my spell outs was hold on, um, persist every day or something like that, or persevere oh, yeah. every day. So yeah, good, yeah. good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, hold so I know. So how can people get copies of your book? Okay, so um, my website, uh, www.bejuabuchi.com. Okay. I'm sure the contact details will be part of what you receive with this video. Yes. You can also get it on Amazon now. The mm -hmm. uh, book is on Amazon. And if you want it in your local bookshop, tell them. Okay. Say to your bookseller, why is a poetic odyssey of proclamations not being sold here? Come on, get it into the bookshop. Nice. So those are the ways, yeah. Okay. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you so much for being my guest in the Quip Corners Book Corner. It's been a delight chatting thank with you and learning more about your book. Thank you so much, Ada. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for your patience in listening and um, celebrating what I have done with birthing this book that I hope, my desire is that it will be a journey of transformation for whoever holds it in their hand that you will notice the difference mm -hmm. in your world when you notice the difference in your words mm. so thank you so excellent much. yes and together we'll all say yes, yes. to our yes 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 thank you ada thank you so much thank you you're for what welcome. you're doing Thank you for how you are elevating and celebrating our voices as people of faith in the marketplace. Thank you for your desire to give glory to God for what you've put out there. And thank you for reaching out to me. I appreciate it. And yes, thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you too. Thank Bye you. now. Bye. Let's take a peek behind the scenes. So I usually like to pray before I start. Please. my first video okay in jesus name amen so Lord, rock of ages we just want to thank you father we thank you because you deemed it fit to put our names on the wake up today list father for mm -hmm. that we are grateful father we thank you because we're not alive just to live unto ourselves but to live unto you father lord even as we proceed with this video recording as part of spreading your word father we pray that everything will go well you'll give us the words to speak and that wherever this and this video goes to that people will be drawn to you and Amen. as a byproduct more people will be aware of by Beju's book father we thank you because all the glory will always be returned to you mm. father, we thank you for Zipora who came to the rescue we thank you lord god for blessing our lives with help Right on time. Thank you. Yeah. In Jesus' name. We... Amen. Amen. You you've made it very comfortable. Very comfortable. It's not 
there's some where I'm sweating and feeling like I'm being tested or, but I, I guess there's a grace when you're, there's a grace when you're doing it for the glory of God. It's a different kind of grace, isn't it? So yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're um, welcome. You're now, do you understand why I was so excited to chat with Peju Abuchi? Yes, words are powerful. I'm sure you learned a lot from listening to her. And most importantly, say yes to your yes. Make your word what you desire. Your words. I look forward to reading your comments and hearing how you encourage yourself, even when you're down. So please stay tuned. Right through this month, we'll have a number of poets and you know um, other authors as we celebrate World Book and Copyright Day. See you in the next episode of the Prep Corner. Yes, I know.